Okay, so my first transaction is here, which is on the 1st of October, issued shares for $10,000 cash. What's the two sides to my accounting transaction? What does it affect? Equity and assets, yes, yeah, so it affects my cash and it affects my equity. In which directions is it affecting my cash and equity? Cash down, equity up. Cash down, equity up? No. No. So I've issued shares for cash. So I'm the business, I'm going to give someone some shares and they're going to give me some cash. Okay, so we're going to have an increase of 10000 for cash and an increase in 10000 for share capital. And what happens is my assets now equals my liabilities plus my equity. So my accounting equation balances. Is everyone okay with that first transaction? All right, let's look at the second transaction. Once again, on the 2nd of October, I've borrowed 5000 from ANZ Bank. What accounts or what gets affected in this transaction? Oh. Assets and liabilities. Okay? What happens to my assets? Okay, increase in my assets of 5000 Yeah, liabilities up, assets up. Exactly right. So what's my new balance now for cash? 15000 My bank loan is 5000 and my share capital is 10000 which means that my assets equals my liabilities plus my equity. Everyone okay with second transaction? This is very similar to when we did worksheets or business transactions in accounting. Yeah. Very similar. So we're looking for the two sides to every transaction. All right, transaction number three. We purchased some office equipment for five thousand cash. What's the accounts that get affected in this transaction? Or well, what's the just assets? Just assets? Equity. Equity. Just so, uh, so 5000 down in cash yeah. and I'll bracket it to indicate it's an outflow or a decrease and you're saying equipment is increasing by 5000 yeah. yeah. Alright, so my new balance for cash will be 10000 My office equipment will be 5000 This equals my bank loan of 5000 plus my share capital of 10000 so once again, my assets, which is 15000 here, equals my liabilities plus my equity. Alright, find a pendant. Alright, we're looking now at my fourth transaction. And my fourth transaction is on the 2nd of October. I received $1,200 cash in advance from a customer. So increases in asset and increases in liabilities and my increase in asset was cash for 1200 and my increase in liabilities was called revenue received in advance of 1200 So how much does that make my cash now? Uh, 11200 My office equipment stays the same at 5000 That equals my bank loan of 5000 plus another liability called revenue received in advance of 1200 plus my share capital of 10000 So my assets now equals 16200 which equals 6200 plus 10000 So once again my assets equals my liabilities plus my equity. Everyone okay with the first four transactions? Yes. Uh, I'll just pause there for a moment and see a few people still writing, which is okay. Alright. Okay, flip the page. Slide it down. Okay, so on the 5th of October, oh no, the still transaction number 5 is on the 3rd of October we received 10,000 cash for services performed. What gets affected here? Retained profits and cash. Retained profits and cash, alright. 
Now my retained profits is my income and expenses and we've just for uh, ease we're just going to call it retained profits in this exercise because that's following the textbook. Uh, so I get 10,000 increase in retained profits and how much is my, what was the other one? Retained profits. Yeah and the other one was cash, yep that's right, for 10,000. So I've increased my cash which is my assets and increased my equity which is my retained profits. So now I have a balance of 21,200 in my cash, 5,000 in my equipment. This equals my bank loan of 5,000, my revenue received in advance of 1,200, and my share capital of 10,000 plus my retained profits of 10,000. So now my uh, assets equals 26,200. My liabilities is 6,200 and my equity is 20,000. So once again we prove that my assets equals my liabilities plus my equity. Everyone okay with transaction five? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, we paid rent of 900 in cash. What happens in my business transaction or my accounting transaction? Okay, so my cash decreases by 900. Now I'm going to indicate a decrease by putting brackets around it to indicate decrease. And my retained profits also decreases. So expenses, we'll get into expenses very shortly, but that also decreases. So how much is my cash balance now? 20,300, equipment's 5,000, bank loan 5,000, received in advance revenue is 1,200, 10,000 for share capital and 9,100 for um, retained profits. So my assets equal 25,300, liabilities is 6,200, and my equity is now 10,000 plus 9,100 is 19,100. 6,200 plus 19,000, 25,000, 25,300. So we do balance. So by balancing we know that we have captured all sides of our transaction. Yep, on to transaction number seven. Transaction number seven is on the 4th of October we paid 600 cash for a year insurance policy. Prepaid insurance increases by 600. So we have an increase in assets and a decrease in assets because my cash decreases by 600. So increase in assets, decrease in assets, no change to liabilities, no change to equity. So let's just work out the new balances. What's my cash equal now? 19700 $600 in prepaid insurance, $5,000 in office equipment, equals my $5,000 bank loan, $1,200 revenue in advance, $10,000 for capital and $9,100 for uh, retained profit. So that gives me $19,100 here. 6,200 and we should come back to 25,300 because we had an increase and decrease here so that makes uh, 20,300, 25,300. Once again we balance. The world is a great place. Okay, transaction number eight. So we're up to transaction number eight. We've purchased some advertising supplies on credit. Now here's some terminology I'd probably want you to get used to. Whenever we sort of talk about supplies, we're talking about an asset account. Okay, if I just said we purchased advertising, then we'd be looking at something that would affect our retained profits, but we're talking about supplies, so we're looking at something that's affecting assets. Okay, it's a stock of something, or an inventory of something. So what's happening? I've almost given the answer away, but who can help me out on the two sides of the transaction? Accounts payable is increased by 2,500. 
advertising supplies increased by 2,500. So my 19,700 stays the same in cash. I've got a now increase in assets of 2,500, which is my advertising supplies. My prepaid insurance is still there. Office equipment is still there. This equals my bank loan, plus 2,500, which is accounts payable, and 1,200 of um, revenues received in advance. My share capital stays the same at 10,000, and my retained profit stays the same at 9,100. So how much does my asset total come to now? How much? 27,800. And what's my liabilities come to? 5,000, 7,500, 8,000, 8,700 plus 19,100. That didn't change. So 8,700 plus 19,100 equals 27,800. How cool are we? All right. On to transaction number nine. We hired a new employee on the 9th of October to begin work in one week's time. Nothing changes. Nothing changes. Why not? Because they're beginning to be charged, not an amount shown. Yeah. This is a event. There is no transaction. This is nothing. Nothing happens for the business. We don't have to record anything here. Now, you will be asked to identify between transactions and non-transactions. So this is a non-transaction, so it doesn't affect anything. Okay, we haven't, the employee hasn't worked for us or we haven't paid him. So there's no obligation and there's no assets. All right, excellent. We're rocking. Okay, on the 20th of October, we paid a dividend for 500. What gets affected here? Equity. equity? What part of equity gets affected? Yeah. Share capital. Share capital or we pay we pay dividends out of retained profits. So retained profits. Retained profits will decrease by five hundred. And cash decreases by five hundred. So my new cash balance is nineteen thousand two hundred. 2,500, 600, 5,000. This equals my liabilities of 5,000, 2,500, and 1,200, plus my equity of 10,000 and 8,600, which means my equity is 18,600. My liabilities stay the same. Uh, what was that? 7,500, 8,700. That equals, what have we got? 19, 2, 21, 2, 27, 27, 200. I'll agree with that. No, 27, 300. I'll agree with. Yeah. All right, 27, 300 equals 8,700. Yep, it does. And my last transaction now is on the 26th of October we paid salaries of $4,000. What gets affected? Cash. Cash? Increase or decrease? Decrease. Decrease. And my retained profits, increase or decrease? Decrease. 4000 So my cash now becomes 15200 Advertising supplies doesn't change. I still got 600 for insurance. My office equipment is 5,000. This equals my bank loan of 5,000. My accounts payable of 2,500. My rent re revenue received in advance of that of 1,200, plus my share capital of 10,000, and my retained profits of 4,600. So my equity now equals 14,600. My liabilities will equal the same, which is 
So we've got 5, 600, 7, 600, 8, 100, 8, 100, 23, 100, 23, 300. So that equal 8, 7 plus 14, 6 is 22, 22, 7, 20, yep, it is. And there we have our first transactions.